For this problem, we need to find all eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix. And we are told that there was probably going to be complex uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Um, so let's get to it. Um, we're just going to go about the typical way that we find eigenvectors and eigenvalues, um, which is when we look at the matrix A uh, minus lambda i. So that matrix, in this case, is going to be negative 2 minus lambda minus 6, 3, and 4 minus lambda. And then if you remember, we take the derivative of this, and we set that equal to 0 to find the eigenvalues. So the derivative, I mean, determinant, blah, words. So de the determinant of this is going to be um, cross-multiply. We get minus 2 minus lambda times 4 minus lambda minus 6 times minus 3, that's uh, negative 18, so plus 18. And that is equal, we're going to FOIL this out, minus 2 times 4 minus 8, minus 2 times minus lambda is positive 2 lambda, uh, that's minus 4 lambda, plus lambda squared, and plus 18. And to simplify that down, we're going to get lambda squared minus 2 lambda and plus 10. Okay, um, we need to find the roots of this, uh, of this equation. It's a quadratic equation, so we can use the quadratic formula. Negative b uh, plus or minus the square root of, um, you know, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 2a all over, I mean, 4ac all over 2a. It's easier to remember than it is to say. Um, but we're going to take this. We're going to have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right, simplify that. That's 2 plus or minus the square root. Um, that's 4 minus 40, so negative 36. All over 2. And that is equal to 2 plus or minus 6i over 2, which is 1 plus or minus 3i. Okay, so because those are the roots, we can take that. We're going to say lambda 1 equals 1 plus 3i. Lambda 2 equals 1 minus 3i. Uh, so those are our eigenvalues. Yay. Now we just need to find the eigenvectors. Uh, and for that, we're going to plug them. We're going to pick one of them. Um, because if you'll remember with complex, uh, with complex eigenvalues, if we find one eigenvector, we can find the other. Um, so we're just going to take one of them, plug it in for lambda, and then find the vector that makes multiplied by that equation equal to zero. Um, so I'll put lambda one in for that lambda. Now while we're finding v one here. So minus 2 minus 1 plus 3i and 4 minus 1 plus 3i. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 and distribute that negative. Just be careful with our numbers. I'm not always careful. 4 minus 1 is 3, and that becomes negative 3i. All right, that's not equal. I don't want to get that, that to get in the way, so I'm going to erase this. OK, um, I'm going to simplify this matrix just so it's easier to work with. This I can divide by negative 3, so that's 1 plus i minus 2. I can divide this by 3. 1 and 1 minus i. OK, um, I want to get this into reduced row echelon form, and that'll give me, just a, it'll be really easy to tell from that what the eigenvectors are. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply this top row by 1 minus i, which is the complex conjugate of 1 plus i. And so that'll make that into a real number. 
So I'm going to bend down to do this. Uh, 1 plus i times 1 minus i. Uh, that's a sum and difference formula, and the result is 2. Here we have minus 2 times 1 minus i. Here's 1. OK, one quick note. When I divided here by negative 3, I should have divided this 6 by negative 3. Instead, I just divided by 3, so that 2 is actually positive. OK, um, I was worried why I wasn't getting a nice result. But now I do. Um, here's the bottom row is just 1 and 1 minus i. And this is 2 two times 1 minus i. They're the same, uh, the same vector. I can just divide this one in half and then subtract 1. And I'll eventually get a matrix that looks like this. Okay, 1, 1 minus i, and zeros. All right, I'm running out of room to work. I'm going to get rid of this just so I can do my final step. Uh, okay, so our vector x1, x2, we're going to say x2 equal to t, and x1 plus 1 minus i times t. Equals zero, so x1 is equal to i minus 1t. I just multiplied this by negative 1. Um, so choosing t to t equal 1, we can choose whatever we want for that. I'm going to choose 1. We can say that vector 1, uh, eigenvector 1, is equal to uh, i minus 1 and 1. And now, because of the properties of complex eigenvalues, um, to find the other eigenvector, all I need to do is find the complex conjugate of i minus 1. And that's going to be negative i minus 1. I just need to flip the negative on the i. So v2 is going to be negative i minus 1, 1. Cool. And obviously, other values of t will give you different multiples of this, but um, any multiple of something like that looks like this is going to be a correct answer. Um, so to reiterate, our eigenvalues are 1 plus or minus 3i. And the eigenvectors v1 is i minus 1 over 1. Not over, just i minus 1, 1. And v2 is minus i minus 1, 1.